Welcome back everybody to another watercolor episode. Today we're going to be doing a reindeer. And the main focus on this reindeer is going to be obviously the antlers. And um, then you'll kind of see as I go here, I just kind of trying to feel my way through the actual main body of the reindeer here. So I, instead of doing like the whole thing in wet, I actually just did like the little part of the antler in a light coating of water. And then I went in and I just started doing like light layers of colors that I saw. And I told myself, okay, I'm gonna start with like the lightest colors and work my way dark. And within the first probably 10 minutes, I go in with a dark brown. <laughs> But um, right now I'm actually, I was like, okay, so that's a stop. Let me layer out um, the structure, kind of like the texture that I see in the antlers here. So that's what I ended up doing. I do have a skinnier brush that I am working with. A skinnier brush, a smaller brush. Uh, I have... Uh, I, th I believe I have burnt s umber. Um, I do have this red color, I forget what it's called. It's kind of like a brown red, but it's not burnt sienna. <laughs> and then I, I actually think I have burnt sienna, is that kind of yellowy color. I have a coral color because um, it was the antlers were kind of pinkish at times. And then at some point I do use a little bit of my blue. I did actually end up time lapsing this whole thing because this took me an hour and a half to do. Cause I spent so much time in the antlers and all of a sudden it was like, oh, I haven't even started the main body, but I just really wanted to kind of test myself and like, okay, what would it feel like to really focus and do a little bit more detail. Now I do have to say like on this scale, unless I metic like if I was like, okay, if today I was only gonna focus on the antlers, I would have spent probably another 20 minutes just because I probably would have went just a bit slower and planned things out a little bit better. And every time I do something, I feel like I'm learning as well. And I hope you guys are learning from my mistakes that I make to maybe try at home or even try to practice so uh this deer uh this reindeer i just kind of found because there wasn't really one that i found on iStock it, it was just from google images so have what you be with that um just i just typed in reindeer this is probably the best looking one that i found there was one from national geographic but i was like eh. or maybe this is the one Either way, um, credit to whoever photog whoever took this picture. But uh, so as we go here, I was trying to kind of soften some of the edges with like a light, like a white pasty, bluey, purpley glaze over, just to kind of give an atmosphere to the antlers and not just so much. A, like I still have to color down <laughs> but I feel like my planning for these is getting a lot better like okay let's do like a really opaque uh, base color that's going to probably be our highlight right some or like an undertone that you want to see through any of your shadows or any open spaces that you're not going to paint so if you think about it that way that'll kind of help maybe get you started and then save your extremely dark colors for last. Now, the other thing that I learned to do here was to, even if I layered or if I think I had too much paint, I could go back in, wipe off my brush on a paper towel, wet it, and then kind of blend out some of those harsh lines that I didn't want before the paint actually dried. So you could give that a try. And I think at this point, my brain just really wanted to turn off. I was trying really hard to get this to not be like a two hour project in the morning. 
but I was just, I again just trying to enjoy the process and go with it. I, it was relaxing. Okay, so here on this, I'm using a purple, white, gray wash uh, to kind of lay out some of the tones on the face here of the reindeer. And then I have a pans gray because there was kind of a cooler, pur it was like a bluey, purpley tone to the fur. Like, I think it was just how the picture was taken. Maybe it was like a cool morning or something. And like, you know how like winter always has kind of that purpley blue hint sometimes to it. So, but you'll kind of see how I go about this. I do end up taking a paper towel and kind of dabbing up some areas that I couldn't lift with my uh, paintbrush. And it might have been, I, I know it's time lapsing, but it is going pretty fast, but you'll kind of see it get lighter. And then I do know towards the end, um, looking back on it, I think I got a little too hesitant with the eye and I really should have made the eye just a little bit bigger, like for perspective wise. But I think I did a good job in the antlers now that they're, I can see them, they have dried on the, on the camera. And as we come past here, so basically I have a semi dry brush and then I kind of just try to dab, I'm trying to just like do this technique, trying to just like dab and get like kind of like a little fur texture because you can see the fur, like he, he has like two different, two, three different uh, fur colors coming out on his top coat here. So I was just trying to kind of get that, kind of get just a little bit of that suggestion because I didn't want to go too crazy detail with his whole body. I just really wanted like you as the viewer, you're going to fill in the blanks like in your head, like your brain will just do that. Like you, if you don't know what a reindeer looks like, you know what I mean? So, or if you ever seen one, so that, that's what our brains do. They fill in the blanks. Um, but as a, as artists, sometimes we feel like we need to fill in all those blanks and we don't have to. So here I'm just touching up around the eye and we're almost done and then I'm going to sign this. So and again I didn't want to go too crazy detail with the body. I really just kind of trying out some techniques and that I'm really proud of those antlers and I hope you guys try out this uh, drawing whether it be in colored pencil or watercolor or otherwise. And I learned a lot in this and that patience is key and that if I really, I should have really took a break and, and, and come back to this, but now I am going to sign and that will be it for this one. A little shorter video. Hope you guys have a great day and see you next time.